Hey YouTube, it's Glenn here from BJ's Bootables. Sorry about the bit of a break between videos, been just dealing with some stuff, but we'll try and get back on track. Uh, the model making's going well, haven't really done a lot on it, but we'll get some more videos back up hopefully this week of that. But whilst that's down, uh, I thought I'd do a uh, eight month uh, sort of review slash clean of um, the Thermaltake Thermal V21 case. So I custom made this in a Star Wars theme with Vader and a Stormtrooper in there and did it all in like a marbling slash lightning effect with UV lights. Um, so it sort of gives like a force lightning like effect in there. So. But yeah, so she's been running for about eight months. Uh, I haven't cleaned it. And I thought we'd have a look over it and see how all the filters and everything have held up. Um, I finally have a splitter to put this other fan on. Um, and then I'm gonna pull the GPU out and give it a thermal paste replacement because it's been running for a couple of years. It's a GTX 1070 Asus Dual Edition um, and it's a really nice card but I think we'll give it a thermal paste replacement but first of all we'll just go over and see how everything's held up on the case here. So we'll switch her off. For me I use it as the side but I guess it's the front. We've got a bit of build up around the fan area but not too bad elsewhere. And on the back, we got a little bit, um, but not too bad. This panel comes off on the removable filter on the top, which shouldn't have anything because it's working as an exhaust. We have nothing except the little bit on the inside that's been blown through, so that's pretty good. So we only had the one fan running, so now I can finally get the second one up and going. But that's not too bad, that's what's come through the case and missed the other filters and then been blown out the top. So that's not too bad there. And then the bottom, that's a little bit the bottom one. There were two filter, extra filters I got, just magnetic ones. They're clean as. The other bottom filters clean as, so not much has been coming through the bottom. That's just a bit of a um, marbling paint stuff that's come off. So, it's just really on the front there on the big fan, which you'd expect. really only that build up on there. Inside of that foam still pretty clean. That foam isn't really removable. You have to like unclip the whole tray on the whole outer and take it. So that's all right. We'll just have to clean it up from the outside there. But that's pretty good. All the fans look clean. So overall for eight months of continuous running, um, that's done really well. So I'm really happy with how that has all lasted and kept going. 
See a little bit of discoloration from the fan that's been running to the other one. So we'll finally put that splitter in. Yay! All the fans are now connected. can do with that when we put it all back together uh, so that's cool there's no real other cleaning to do we'll just fix that one up so we'll just pull the GPU out here and give it some nice new thermal paste so we've got an Asus Dual 1070 So we got the B350 Arctic mortar board, mortar, mortar Arctic board. Um, I originally didn't want the Arctic, I ordered the non-Arctic so I had that full LED, RGB LEDs on it, but I ended up with the Arctic from the shop because that's what they had. Uh, so we went with that and it had the white LEDs. So it's got white LEDs and then there's UV lights as well as the light off the pump and yeah the camera doesn't really capture the UV properly because when it's all set up and just sort of rocking it's a lot more purple um, than what seems to come through on the camera and it just sort of it's a lot deeper and looks a lot like funkier it, on the camera it looks kind of just white and blown out and flashy but it's pretty cool when it's just sort of chilling and sitting there and doing its thing but I would have liked the full RGB so I could have done a little bit more with it but hey we got a good system okay then so let's have a look inside a Asus Dual 1070 GTX 8 gig and see if we can give it some nice new thermal paste. I think we have to take out a lot of screws. Heat sink, it's pretty clean, it's good. I mean, this card's a couple of years old, so um, this is its first clean out and that's all the dust that's in there. So that's pretty fantastic. That case has definitely been doing a good job at keeping everything out.
and even the other case um, was also I had it in was also very good so that's fantastic that's very clean so, nice and easy and it's pretty clean in there tiny little bit on the memory heat sink so this paste it's pretty damn dry GPU die. <laughs> I don't want to ruin any of those little SMDs on the edge there. get too much of that out because it's kind of everywhere all over like four rows of SMDs there so we'll just change what's on top and what's on the actual interface and yeah not risk ripping any bits off bit between that bit and that bit that matters the most so that's what we're going to replace There we go. Now we plug it back in and hope that it all worked. Or works. Mm. All right. So let's see how we did. fans running but only the other one that we just plugged in not the one that had been running
spot graphics cards working. And it's sitting at 38 degrees at the moment. 39. I didn't really check it just before doing this. So, I don't think it would have dramatically dropped it, but it was a bit of a maintenance thing. And let's Seven degrees. So it's pretty good. We're in 1923 and uh, 67 degrees in game, which is good. I think that's about a five or six degree drop. Actually, I think I was sitting more around 73, 74, which it probably will get up to, but. I think that's still a few degrees better. We're running around a big crowded area. bad <coughs> but yeah that's a maintenance on an asus dual gtx 1070 graphics card and a little bit of an eight month catch up on what a thermal tech v21 case is like as far as filtering and it's clean as in there it's absolutely schmick and um, a little bit on the front will clean up and I'm going to try some other splitter cables here and see if that's the issue of why the fan swapped working positions. So, we'll try that for a sec. Shut this down. Okay, we have two spinning fans, so that one was junk. Well, like a buck, so I'm glad I bought like four of them. That should help a lot now. Excellent, job done. Uh, smash like, hit subscribe. I'll be back with some more bulb case, hopefully this week. We'll get this going again. And...
and have a great day. Catch you.